Hi, and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today, we're going to be talking about the Boker USA King Cutter Straight Razor. As you may or may not know, Boker is one of the most well-respected names in the straight razor game. And yes, Boker is a German company, but this Boker USA King Cutter here is actually manufactured in Denver. Now, this got me a little skeptical at first because I'm all about that German engineering and that German steel that is so well-renowned. Uh, but I did find out that the German steel is, the, Ger the steel actually is manufactured in Germany, but then it, it is uh, assembled in Denver. So you're still getting that quality German steel that can only be, you know, challenged by the Japanese steel. Um, so we'll dig right into the review uh, and start with its sharpness. Uh, even though it's sold as shave ready, it definitely requires a bit of honing before you truly in pristine condition, but that's uh, the case for any straight razor, so nothing unique there. But it was actually very sharp outside the box. I was pretty impressed. But it still did take some good old honing to get it to that perfect condition that I consider to be truly shave ready. Um, but once I did get it all honed up, it actually really held the edge very well. I was very impressed. Um, I think this is probably mainly due to the newer model that uses a special steel alloy. Um, it allows it to be ground down to an incredibly fine edge uh, and it'll hold that edge really well um, if taken care of properly, of course. So I was really impressed by that. Um, in terms of durability, uh, as you know, German steel, so it'll last for decades, uh, maybe even generations actually. So if you want to turn this baby into an heirloom and pass it down, uh, I don't see any reason why this thing would wear out anytime soon. Um, unfortunately, the only thing I'd be critical about is the scales. Uh, it's kind of like a black, um, lightweight plastic. Um, these la lightweight plastics are actually pretty common in these top brands. I'm not really sure why. Uh, but I haven't, I'll say good news is, I haven't come across any reviews that mention any problems with the scales breaking or anything. So that's good. Um, unlike the plastic scales on some Doba models that I actually have seen or heard of uh, them breaking. So that's good on this end. Um, I chose the black model just because it was cheaper. Uh, but if you are interested, there is a white model. I'm not really sure why it's more expensive or anything, but there's one in case you're interested. Um, now I haven't had a chance to try it, but I've been told that the moisture resistant synthetic handle found in the Boker Arborito actually is a huge improvement over these lighter plastic scales. Um, but that one costs like over a hundred dollars more than this one, the King Cutter. So, uh, you really got to be willing to invest that extra dollar to, to get that different kinds of scales. Um, in terms of ease of use. Well, it's really a quality, you know, razor for a beginner. Um, it's got the five inch, five eighths inch wide blade, uh, so it's definitely easier for newbies than the six eighth inch blade. Uh, it also has the rounded blade, which really um, is good for beginners, reduces the chances of nicks and cuts, and also is a half hollow ground blade. Um, and definitely lessens the chances of some kind of nicks or cuts uh, relative to the full hollow ground blades. So really nice quality straight razor for beginner, uh, but also you know it definitely has uh, you know the capabilities and the quality to to you know uh, be good for an expert as well. Um, the only thing that lowered the score slightly was the weight and balance of the razor. I found it to be a bit light and not as well balanced as others that I've used. I think it has to do kind of with, once again, with those scales. I really like a little heavier of a handle. Um, but besides that, pretty darn good. So I definitely rate it pretty, pretty highly on, on ease of use. Um, I guess the only thing that a lot of people get critical of is the price. Uh, it costs over a hundred bucks, but not too much. Uh, if you look on Amazon, at least at the time of this review, it was like 110 bucks. 
Uh, it's a lot cheaper on Amazon than it is on any other site, like almost like 50 bucks. It was kind of crazy. So if you are thinking about getting this one, I definitely recommend getting it from Amazon. Um, a lot of people are kind of critical that it's over 100 bucks, but I think that's a great price for a straight razor. Uh, anything cheaper, I am actually would be a little more skeptical of. Uh, high quality steel like this is is tough to is is really expensive to produce, I guess. So you're not gonna find anything you find cheaper than that. It's probably because they use subpar uh, material, and you're just not gonna get that quality shave you're looking for. So uh, and it's a great razor because you know a lot of these you know straight razors that do have these quality materials. They cost 200, 300 bucks. So if you're not willing to quite spend that much, uh, this is a great option. So if that's kind of what you're looking for, your price range is not quite the 200, 300 mark, but you're really looking for that high quality uh, straight razor with that you know nice German steel, uh, this Boker definitely might be the one for you. So uh, be sure to check out my entire review uh, at primprep.com. There should be a link someplace on this video as well in the description below. Uh, I'll go into more detail and kind of break it down by different categories and what I rate them at. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And uh, that's about it. Thanks.